Boston 12 or uh, Adi Zero SL version 2? Let's check it out. Here we are guys with a new video review, um, this time is a comparison between the Boston 12 and the new version of the SL, the Adi Zero SL, the version 2. Yeah, I got a lot of questions about both shoes, uh, therefore I decided to do a video comparison. You can find the full video review for the Boston 12 in the channel, uh, including the running dynamics and the initial video review for the new version of the SL, the version 2. I'll leave you the link up here. As always, let's start from the specs, uh, then the also mid sole and upper, and finally I'll give you my thoughts about the shoes in general, which one I prefer, for which trainings uh, and for which race. As we can see from the specs, the drop is different, the saccade and the weight are different, uh, the forms in the mid sole are the same, uh, but with different uh, you know, distribution. The Boston 12 has the energy rods, while the SL has uh, neither energy rods uh, nor torsion system. While the SL is lighter and uh, lower to the ground, the Boston 12 has uh, more foam in the midsole uh, for an higher stack, lower drop, uh, more light strike pro and light strike 2.0 foam, uh, so it is uh, much more clean. And the rubber in the outsole is uh, the Continental rubber in the Boston 12, while uh, Adiware in the new version of the uh, Adi Zero SL. So overall, the Boston 12 uh, is more premium. In fact, uh, the price is uh, 160 euro here in Europe, uh, while the SL version 2 cost uh, 130 euro. So it is a cheaper shoe. Outsole now. The outsoles have uh, different design patterns. The rubber used is the different, uh, much more premium in the Boston 12, uh, as we said, uh, with the Continental rubber, with a cut all along. Uh, the length of the shoe in the new version of the SL to give more flexibility and adapt uh, to the ground uh, even better and uh, improve the grip. This kind of differences sometimes can be seen as uh, details, but as you know, the devil is in the details. Uh, therefore, it makes uh, the grip uh, better and the feeling uh, with the ground uh, better than in Boston 12. Anyhow, the grip is uh, good also in the Boston 12. Uh, uh, in wet and dry conditions, even if in wet conditions uh, the Continental rubber uh, is a little bit better than the Adi work. The gravel and the tip of uh, uh, the SL2 is better uh, for the thickness of the house. Not that much foam in both uh, models, uh, but some uh, holes uh, in the SL uh, um, also, where stone could get stuck uh, even if uh, so far, didn't end. In terms of durability, I have the feeling that the SL also uh, could last longer because it is bigger and maybe the foam is also uh, a bit harder than uh, the Continental. Anyhow, no major signs of wear in both shoes. Uh, it looks promising. Midsole now. We have a uh, more Life Strike Pro and uh, even a, a layer of Life Strike 2.4 uh, in the Boston 12. Uh, so premium foam, uh, while in the SL version 2 we have uh, two layers uh, of Life Strike, uh, which uh, sandwich uh, a layer of uh, Life Strike Pro foam, uh, this time for the entire length of the, the shoe and not only in the front, uh, like the previous version. It is not sure if it is uh, 2.4 light strike, uh, even if it is softer than the mm, normal light strike. Stacket is different. Uh, we have uh, more form in the Boston 12 uh, and uh, more light strike pro. Overall, the shoe is indeed uh, more comfortable than the SL version 2, either in the heel or in the forefoot. The Boston 12 has uh, the energy rods, but in terms of response, I haven't seen any big differences. Even if in the SL there is no torsion system or energy roads, uh, uh, I feel it more responsive, uh, probably for the lower stack weight and uh, the female midsole. So no need of uh, carbon if you don't go too high with the midsole, your feet are enough. The dimensions are uh, also different, uh, the Boston 12 uh, looks uh, to be uh, slightly higher in the heel uh, and it has also more pronounced rock in the forefoot. But despite that I prefer the missile in the SL uh, because more responsive and versatile uh, for what concerns my trainings and, uh, and pace. Uh, you can check my trainings uh, in Strava by the way, uh, the link is in the comment down below. Upper now, the upper are totally different and both models are not true to sides. The Boston 12 probably half sides uh, down uh, would be better and uh, for the SL version 2 half sides up it's perfect. While the upper in the Boston 12 is um, breathable and good for all the seasons, uh, the SL version 2 has a very warm upper guys, uh, good only for winter season or uh, cold countries. But on the other end the SL upper looks uh, uh, much more stronger and also uh, keep my foot lock in place uh, 
better than in the Boston 12, which I really appreciate and uh, especially all the trainings I'm currently doing. I don't like the foot sliding guys and uh, in the Boston 12 uh, I can feel it in the port. Here we got the tanks, uh, I would love to have the Boston 12 tanks in the SL because overall I see the Boston 12 more comfortable and protective uh, shoes than uh, the SL. The laces are the same and uh, as you know I don't like them because they are thinner and they don't all like uh, the traditional ones. The Boston 12 uh, in my opinion is uh, one of the best counter in the entire lineup so even in this case I would love to have the counter of the Boston 12 in the SL version 2 even if it looks to be higher than in the SL uh, both shoes were not creating uh, uh, any issue in my hinkles. Aesthetically speaking both models are uh, nice Maybe the Boston 12 is slightly nice. In terms of durability, the SL probably uh, is going to last more uh, than the Boston 12 uh, because all the overlay material and the uh, uh, mesh in the upper looks uh, stronger. And in conclusion, so in conclusion, as we can uh, see from my final scores, uh, kind of uh, similar scores, but the SL version 2 is more responsive, less comfortable less breathable but uh, with a better fit uh, the SL is a more versatile shoe uh, for what uh, concerns my trainings um, even during uh, easy running uh, it's okay comfortable enough for me guys uh, considering uh, I like low to the ground uh, shoes in terms of trainings uh, for this characteristic I prefer the SL version 2 in faster workouts part leg and tempo run while the Boston 12 uh, in easy runs uh, or recovery time say so that the Boston 12 uh, from my perspective it's a very expensive shoe, which has nothing similar to the previous Boston, uh, Boston 9 or even before. Uh, while the SL is similar to the pair of shoes I was running some years ago, before the boom of the high stockade shoes. Therefore, I prefer the uh, new version of the SL, a Zero SL version 2, and um, even for the drop, which is uh, ideal for my ankles. So, in my opinion, the SL version 2 is uh, more value for money. Regard race day, uh, I would not suggest neither the Boston 12 uh, nor the SL version 2. I hope guys it was useful. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, to leave your comment or raise your questions, and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep running. <laughs> Ciao. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say